She's still alive. That's that's weird. Um, wait, how old is she? He was 72. She's 68. Ah, she's infirm though, so she probably won't live all that long. She can pass on some of this stuff, can't she? Who is technically her successor? I assume Anne de Est. Because she didn't have... Uh, yeah, she didn't have any um, children who were males with um, William. Oriel de Harcourt, who are you? I don't know. Oh, right, okay, you're, um, you're the daughter of Undead Man. You're not very good at anything, though. Um, how about you get married to... him? I wonder if we could ask him to come to us. I'm gonna try. Um, right, so high intrigue. Oh, he's ill. What about you? Would you come? You would come. Excellent. Do it. Melia de Harcourt is dead. Um, Bishop Carls is happy with me. Gracious invitation. You're welcome. Um, go there. Yeah. Okay. So you are the daughter of Alison. Who was my sister, wasn't she? Catelyn. And Melia. I thought it was Amelia. No. Uh, Grand Princess Mary of Rostov. Actually, how did that work out? You... had a son with her, didn't you? Yes. And he's only ambitious. Wow. That's the only thing he picked up? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, but I can find, um... the lady that we're looking for. You are my niece, you are old, but it was your daughter, wasn't it? Yes, yes it was. Um, we don't need to have her matrilineally marry him. And I'm opening the wrong menu. Let's arrange a marriage between you and... No, not Richard. Where is he? Enrico! There you go. Nice. Enrico. He's Italian. He's leading troops in Reggio for some reason. Whatever. Just do your thing. Okay. City castle. A uh, castle city has been built in Montcator. That's nice. Vaughn. You can have castle city. Done. Uh, Mortain. How's things? Small stable. Bigger stable. Mayor Andrew of... Mayor Andrev of San Malo died a natural death. That's nice. So yeah, we're kind of just waiting a little bit for time to run out at this point. I'll just ex uh, accelerate time a little bit. But wow, that's, that's really cool that, like, all that sort of stuff happened. France is sort of reuniting. Mayor Ranulf of Champagne died. It's fine. Castile is going on like an all-out attempt to unite Spain, and Cumania managed to piece itself back together. That's interesting. And the Basilis of um, the Byzantine Empire managed to expand some of his holdings too. He might make a move on the Kingdom of Sicily. Gebhard is no longer Spymaster. Is he dead for real? Yes, he is dead for real. I could have sworn he didn't die the first time. I might be wrong. I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. But it seemed very odd. Okay, uh, well, Enrico, in that case, you get to be Spymaster, and I'm pretty sure that increases your ability too. Yep, it does, because I fulfilled your ambition for you, and you can go research technology and Vexen. Or Vexen. I can't remember how you say it. Uh, but yeah, but have fun. So, we were having a look at this fella. And there's a child that lacks a guardian. Torf, Torf de Harcourt. Who are you? Oh, you're my nephew. 
Oh right, you're um you're you're the uh, son of Renard. And brother of Count Falk, that's right, that's who you are now I remember. Um don't have any land to give you, so forget that. Uh I'll give you to actually, who was William. William, William, William. You had a daughter, didn't you? Yes, you did. You had Alison, who was good at martial stuff, and you had her, who was good at bugger all. How did William, who still, even to his death day, he never picked up anything that took him to a really bad set of traits, how did he manage to pass none of that on? She's dead too. Did she die first, or did he die first? She died in 1118, he died in 1117. Oh. It's unfortunate. But anyway, uh, Guardian for Torf. Torf, 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 Torf. Worf. <laughs> um, I'll give you to a high stewardship person. Yes, slain. Duchess slain, look after Torf. Make him into a man who will be good at ruling things for me. Well, for our heir, for our son, for our son Nathaniel, who is now, I believe, four? Yes, he is four. He's good, actually, at a few things. It's not bad. Right, so we were looking at the Basilis of here. Who's he fighting? He's fighting the Seljuks. He's fighting the uh, all of them, really. He's got a truce with someone from Etrinopolis. Ah, he tried to form a, uh, he tried to start a civil war and lost. And Duke Robert of Apulia. King Jocelyn. Hello. Galfred. Galfred. Who, who was Galfred? What did, what did he own? The city of Melfi? Where's the city of Melfi? Yeah, but where is Melfi? Take me to it. He took the title, that's nice. Uh, de jour. De jour, it's part of Apulia. Oh, this is probably just like some other random relative guy. Who we don't know about. Okay. So this is a kingdom, though. King Jocelyn. Hmm. He's lost like half his kingdom. Silly man, that was awfully careless. This is why I am happy to just be ruling this bit. Oh yeah. So you to Gilbert of Orleans. Does that de jour belong to the Duchy of Orleans? Yes, it does. Oh I see. Nice. So the royal lands, when this guy finally shuffles off, will be the Duchy of Kent, the Duchy of Anjou, and bits of my land. Well, what I hope to be my land. I like how I'm referring to Normandy as my land before I even own it. It's the way of things. It's the way things are done. Alrighty. More Tain. My power base. I need more stuff. Uh, yes, let's build a big castle keep. I would like to build that, thank you. Thank you for asking. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to join in our civil war or anything. There we go. Age 71, Count Robert, King Robert of England died of severe stress. King Serlo of England did not inherit his king... Ah, right, that's right, he did not inherit the County Paris thing. He's got a weak claim on Mortain and Evru. I suspect that's more for appearances than anything else. I could try and kill him, which would leave his uh, stuff to Baron Herman, but I don't want to. I'd rather um, declare war on him when I know I can win. My wife slain has grown old and less than attractive. Maybe a young mistress will bring some excitement to my life. I gain the trait lustful. My wife will probably not find out. I gain deceitful. 
Try to seduce Marie? Who, who's that? Gain 10 piety. 50% chance of no effect. <laughs> I know I'm sure as hell not doing that one. Um, deceitful could be good. How's my diplomacy look? Not bad. Hmm. Choices, choices. Who is Marie? I don't even know. I'm sure my wife will allow me to indulge myself. You know what? My wife will probably not find out. I was taken aback by her scorn. Oh, I remember her. She actually laughed at my advances and told me I was both too old and too ugly. Bitch. <laughs> uh, it's been made happy. That's nice. Okay, move on to there. Good, good, good. Everything goes well. Hold on, what's going on? Castle City has been built in Vaughn. Oh. He declared a war. Wait, what happens if he wins? Wait, show me. Show me. I want to see what happens if he wins. Uh, it doesn't say. Oh, right, I remember. This happened uh, during William the Conqueror's rule. He became... Uh, he had to... Um, abdicate. That's right, that's the word. He had to abdicate to his son. I've been sent to research econ economy tech. Cool, cool. Uh, my beloved niece, Alison, is concerned that she is still not married. Well, she was married. Fine, I'll find you someone nice. Um, right, let's matrilineally marry you. You're, you're not going to have kids, so we'll matrilineally marry you to somebody who's good at stuff. Um, hmm. There's not really anybody. Um, well, I guess you can marry this guy. Into house lowborn. <laughs> oh, you can see it's a funky house for that. Nice. Cool, done. Um, Emma de Crepon, who? Wait. Uh, Count Leary tries to fabricate a claim. That's nice. I will tell him to stop because he's a twat. Um... Wait, who were you? Oh, nobody. I thought it was Emma Capet for a moment there, and I was like, uh oh. She's really good at teaching people stuff. Uh, Count Larry. Stop with this bullshit. You have no power. You will not win. Uh, there's another child. Nathaniel! Yay! You, sir, you are going to be a. Ooh, no. No, 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 no. You're going to be educated by moi. Yes. Uh, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. Your demand is just. My scheming was obviously misdirected. Yes, it was, you tool. Uh, King Serlo did stuff. He's Norman, too, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's leading troops in Lothian. What about his son? Yeah, he's Norman, too. Hmm, it'd be kind of unfortunate if he were to die. Uh, Count Omori of Surrey has joined this faction. Eh, it's not important. Um, lower crown authority. I'm going to start that. Uh, Crusade for Jerusalem. That's nice. I'm going to begin that because we have 40% of the men in the realm, but we also get to choose when we take any action. So if not enough people join, I'll just not do it. Count Omri of Surrey did join. If you gain enough people, you can pretty much force the guy to just agree with you and do it. So, let's see. Our opinion of Liege is kind of low, because he's really kind of shit. Got 57%. I'm not going to do anything 
until we get about 80% where he'll pretty much definitely agree to it. Cool. Now the nice thing is that if we get it and we declare war for Vexen um, we want uh, my beloved wife is constantly bored and keeps talking about this new fashion she's heard about. Now she wants me to introduce it at court. My money is your money, darling. Uh, yeah, that's nice. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying, because apparently time is just going to keep going and not be good when we're trying to explain this. Uh, if we take this and then we give it to somebody else, we still hold two of these counties, which is more than anybody else holds. That belongs to the king. That belongs to my daughter, and this belongs to some lady. We can give it to somebody, and it'll sufficiently break up power in Normandy so that we don't have to worry about inheritance or anything like that. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Stop. Um, Duncan the Bold accepted. Renard seeks to kill... Who? Who is that? Oh, he's the heir to the county of Nantes. But you're the heir, aren't you? Oh, no, you would be the heir. But you're not now. Only I am allowed to be a child slayer, thank you. Stop it. <laughs> I like how my morality is. No, 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 only I may do that. Only I may kill children. You fool. Um... No, we still don't want any of those. How come he has not had a child? Surely he should have had a child by now. Oh, his wife is weak and she's celibate. Well, if it comes back to us, we'll just give it to somebody else again. Um, right, so I was going to have a look and see what sort of stuff we could build as well. We could build another one of these. Yes, please. There are going to be certain counties that we always keep. Are you a man is just? Yes. He's been imprisoned. Solo de Normandy attempted to imprison somebody. Solo now favours somebody else as King of England. He'll go back to himself. Duke Godwin has left this faction because he can't. You have decided to join your personal guard in their daily training regimen at dawn. Things were a bit stiff at first, but then once they realized you wouldn't have them beheaded for scoring hits on you, they taught you many valuable lessons. Your martial skill has improved. Parry! Riposte! Nice. Okay, so, yeah, as we... Oh, wow. I thought it would have gone down, but apparently not. Uh, Princess Emma of France is no longer guardian of Emma de Harcourt. Oh, she's dead. Is she? Oh no, she's just incapable. She's not actually dead. Yeah. She will be, though. I don't give her long. Um, you passed on basically none of your good traits to my daughter. No, my niece. Damn you, vile woman! Um, okay, well, let's have a look. What, who's good at what? Uh, here. Go to, go to Rosendo. Rosendo knows stuff. I love that I'm so pious, even though I've tried to kill all these people. Uh, Serlo let somebody go. He favors himself as king. He ransomed somebody from him. Okay. Well, that's alright. That's nice. How's Nathaniel going? Eh, yeah, he's very bland. To the magnificent Duke Nathaniel, who decided to grant you the title Master of the Horse, your king. Emma Capet died comatose in bed. And Anne de Est gained her claim on the Kingdom of France and cannot pass it on, so there's no point worrying about it. Who are you? Duchess Anne of Berry. Yeah. Nothing to worry us. How long have you been? Uh... Oh, yeah, it doesn't say how long he's been. 
in power for because he changed his title midway through. But I think he came into power 1105. So he's been in power almost 30 years. I think. I can't remember. He came into power at some point. He will be in power until some point further on. He is my nephew. He is rather shy at everything. But I'll educate him all the same, because I like people. There we go. I will educate you. Uh, Pope John accepted King Solo of England's offer to join the Second Catholic Crusade for Jerusalem. He's going to send me fighting, isn't he? He is, isn't he? I hope not. That would be most awkward. I caught my young ward Herbert torturing a rat. Uh, talk with him about kindness. Be kind. Be kind, you fool. <laughs> I talked him out of doing anything. Uh, Count Denail of Cornell. Oh, Livery is dead. Good. The good thing about having children as your vassals is that if you have them as your vassals, they cannot rebel against you, and you can do stuff like teach them to be proper little Normans. Why not? Duke Nathaniel is my liege. Well, I'm his liege too. Okay, new plan. I will give Herbert to somebody else. I will give Herbert to Folk. There's Folk. There he is. Go. And then I will take. Where is he? I will look after you. Uh, educate. Denial. Me. What do you mean, no? You shouldn't be able to say no. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, Maloon. I require... a... castle dungeon. Do it. Okay, let's see. Ah, yeah, now we've got 41% of the men. So we should have done that earlier. Wait, what? You became Breton. Oh. That wasn't what I was expecting. But okay. Um, marry... this fella, I guess. There you go. As a relative of a duke, more than you would gain no prestige, and minus 100 from marrying the relative of a baroness. Whatever. Go forth and do. I'm pretty sure that she loses. Oh. No, I lose it as well. My son Nathaniel practically lives in the kitchen, the little glutton. Become temperate, you bastard. Whoa. My liege is... No, I didn't want to be bloody Norman. If I make my son Norman, I'll be very, very annoyed. Norman is good. Norman or Breton is very, very good. Well, at least he's not gluttonous. Could have been worse. If he has to be completely blank, he could do worse. Why are you English? I don't want you to be English. What that means, unfortunately, is if we go to our retinues, you'll see we no longer have the option to get knights. We only have archers. A longbow retinue, in fact, because every culture has a specific sort of retinue. Well, most of them do. And the one I wanted was knights, because knights are good. But no. Now we could have an expanded keep. Learn some stuff. Um, medium stable. No, I would like a medium barracks. Thank you. Medium barracks sounds good. Monkator, what have you got for me? You have got 303 levies in total. No. I think I'll just build you a wall. 
friends? Do you have a wall? You do. Vans, how about you? No. There you go. Now you have a wall. A better wall. A nice wall. A wall that is better than the one you know. Cool. Bishop Osmond did stuff. He died. You are heading off. You are a crusader. My liege, may your years be short and miserable. I thought you liked me. Um, I've discovered a plot where Count Fulk of Nance seeks to fabricate a claim. What have I told you people? No, you can't have stuff. It's my stuff. My stuff. Uh, yeah, whatever. Peace be with you. Your demand is just. I know. I know it is. You're lucky that I'm not killing you. Uh, there's another child, Tancred de Harcourt. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, he is quick. She was too, wasn't she? Yes, she was. Oh, and Renard was a bastard too. How about that? He has a weak claim on the Catalan band. Can we press that? I thought you couldn't. No, you can't. Um. Right, kid. I want you to be educated by somebody who's very, very good at stewardship. So, who's very, very good at stewardship? My wife. Do it. Let it be so. You converted my nephew to being Irish. And you made him craven. You could have done worse. You could have done worse. I'm, I'm okay with that. Um... Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Hang on. When I said that we'd lost um, power in our factions, I was looking at the completely wrong thing. I um, believe that we can demand that he lowers it, can't we? What culture is he? Oh, he's Norman. Well, yes, I want to be Norman, damn it. I'm happy with losing that prestige, thank you. Oh. There we go. Your shameful attempt at blackmail will not succeed. I declared a civil war, and if I lose, he's going to take my stuff. But, he's away crusading, isn't he? Yes, he's off crusading, so hopefully, he's leading troops there, isn't he? Can we offer him a white piece? We can offer him a white piece. He'll say no. But if we fight him long enough, we might just make it. So, let us raise our men. Let us raise these men. We're going to need our vassals for this one. Go attack uh, here. Combine these guys. Attack Ruin. He's got a fairly substantial garrison, so we'll have to send men over there like so. Uh, we'll send these 65 men over there as well. Okay. Slow down time compression a little bit. Okay. He's hired some mercs. Which could be bad. Could be, but I hope is not. Alright. Let us combine this army. Then we will form a new unit. Which apparently we're leading. We'll send... wait, no. Nope. Um. Oh wait, no, that's a good one. Um, fudge. There we go. Perfect. And we'll lead them over there. Nice. So what we're seeking to do is we're seeking to actually besiege his personal lands. Nathaniel has trouble making friends. He will gain proud. Gregarious versus honest. If it becomes proud... Actually, no, we'll give him that. He gained Gregarious. Good. Now, of course, we have to win. But luckily, 
We have enough money that we can hire mercenaries if we want. 